Hey, what is going on, everybody? This is Jazzy Gill 9 all caps, no spaces. And today, guys, we're going to be doing the top five dumbest rich people. These guys just get exactly what they deserve. And, uh, you know, it's just some justice for them just being complete snobs and kind of idiots. So let's get right into it. So for our first clip, we actually have this guy who parked his Ferrari in the wrong spot. So this cop is over there giving him a ticket. Now, this rich guy is not really about that. So he decides to get into his Ferrari and decides to try to drive away. Now, while he's driving away, he actually runs over the cop's foot. The cop is so not down for that so the cop pulls him out of the car and arrests him now this clip is pretty like i mean just an absolute idiot like situation for this man to do i don't know why he thought this was even possible to get away like first off there's cars front and back to him but you guys are going to see this clip right here <laughs> At the number four spot, we got my boy Johnny, who just got his brand new car, you know, this nice sports car. He decides to, you know, bring it out on the beach, show his little friends what he's got, tries to, you know, show off just a little bit, and it winds up binding him in the butt. This is like the ultimate, just like, you know, you try to be cool, but you just can't do it, bud. So yeah, take a look at this clip. Yeah, Johnny Wood! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 For our number three spot, we just have pretty much the biggest douchebag of them all. Like, this guy is first off, like, okay, well, first off, he's drunk and he's in Manhattan, just out on the street. It's, like, the middle of the day, so that's that's wrong in general. Secondly, like, when he's drunk, he just keeps on complaining to, like, this guy about how his father owns half of Manhattan, his dad is a realtor, like, all this stuff, how his daddy has so much money, all this stuff. Like, bro, if your dad is, like, super well off and now you have a crap ton of money, that does not mean you deserve to just, like, be a jerk, and, like, that does not like your dad owning half of Manhattan does not mean you have the right to just be drunk in the middle of the day on this fool's property. Like this is ridiculous. Anyways, take a look at the clip for yourself. Let's get it. Okay, you right now. Alright? Can you listen to me? Okay, listen to me. Are you a human being? Are you a human being? Get the fuck off my property. This is your property? Yes, you guys need to leave. This is your property? Get the fuck off my is this property. Your property? Yes, leave. I, my dad's in fucking real estate. You're gonna tell me this is your property? Shut my dad owns half of fucking Manhattan. You're gonna tell me this is your property. You're gonna tell me this is your property, and you're gonna tell me that right now. Tell me this is your property, or I'll call the cops. Because you think I don't own the cops? You think the fucking man who does fucking real estate doesn't own the fucking cops? Yeah, what's your name? That? What's your name, Mr. I own half of Manhattan? Really? Fucking Jerry Adry. Look at my fucking last name. All right, great. Please call the cops, Jerry. All right, really? You want me to? Yes, I would love for you to call the cops. Fine, Morgan. Please call the cops. Oh, your friend just fell. Why don't you go really? worry about your friend? Did? For our next clip, which is, uh, you know, a little bit older, um, this lady, she decides to go to the Apple store on day one and buy $100,000 worth of iPhones because she thinks that's a great business plan. I mean, who doesn't? Let's get it. You know, make that bread. But um, she decides to, you know, buy someone else at the first spot in line for 800 bucks. And when she gets there, not everything turns out how it seems. I'm buying $100,000 worth of iPhones. A hundred thousand dollars? Correct. I'm gonna sell them all on eBay. And no, those who dollars. try to buy. I've been here since six o'clock this morning. So how much would it cost to buy your position in the front of the line? This woman rolled up with sixteen grand in cash in hand. Seven. And bought Mark's number one spot in line for 800 bucks. She gave me eight hundred dollars. Money talks. Yet when the doors finally opened. I'm first. Yup, she was first, but maybe instead of stopping at the bank, she should have stopped to read the rules. Her plan to buy out the store? Sorry. Can you buy more than one cent? 
Unfortunately, we can only sell one per customer. AT&T imposed a one phone per customer rule to make sure that there were enough to go around. That's a serious package, folks. For our last clip here, I'm going to end it off on, you know, a better note, people not being so much jerks. But this is going to be the ultimate just kind of mess up. It was pretty funny. These guys, you know, they're all in their Lambos, you know, got their posse of like, I don't know, just a bunch of rich guys in California. And they're all driving their Lambos. And this one guy decides to, you know, skirt a little bit too hard. And, well, things go just a little bit wrong for him. Anyways guys, that's going to be the end of the video. If you guys did like it, please let me know by leaving a like down below. If you guys want to comment down below, you know, just the ultimate, like, jerk that you guys know that is just rich and you saw them do the stupidest thing. That would be really funny. I'm going to be looking at the comment section definitely for this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next one.